Come on in, sit a spell. We're going to uh, make a bread pudding. And actually, what started the whole thing is I was, I was going to make I was going to make cornbread. Looked up there in the cupboard, no cornmeal. Haven't been to the store yet. But this is what we got to work with. We've got two eggs. It's one of those, it's one of those moments that it's time for a bread pudding. So what we going to do to, to make a bigger one, what we going to do is we're going to put some cream of wheat in there. Takes the place of an egg, you know, when you cook it. And, 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 and what I'm going to do right here, I was a little short on butter too up there in the cupboard. So I got some of this other stuff right here. And I'm going to put on that bread right there. If you don't like to use this right here, you know, just go ahead and toast your bread on its own. You know what I mean? This just makes it better, I'm saying. You know, it ain't killed me yet. That's all I'm going on. You know. Uh, to the point of not even advocating that you'd make yourself one of these. I'm just saying I like them, you know. Bread pudding. You know, what's not to like about a bread pudding? And and, and, and this right here is a companion. I, I put this bread, let me, like, you're going to get more for your money on this one right here. Because I didn't say much in that last video, if you remember there, you know what? I mean, I just, I did that, and, 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 I, and I, you know, I just throwed it out there and left you on your own, you know what I mean? I figured, you know, surely anybody can go, go, go by them, by that video, you know what I mean? Wow! But, what we, what this, six slices of loaf bread... And, and like I say, I set that out right there as soon as I, it's, it, once the idea, once the idea, I'm going to put this in that oven. I'm just baking six slices in case I have enough volume when I get that there batter whooped up there together. If we've got enough of volume, then we'll use this. If not, we'll come back. some butter over there to melt it a little bit earlier and, 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 and I'm, I'm gonna show you something you don't watch this right here if you can't make a bread pudding after you watch this video right here you know what I mean just get on the phone and call and have one delivered in you know what I mean Whew. one of the most easiest and I, you know I left this at the last video I did about a bread pudding I believe it was the last one I didn't butter this dish right here, uh, but I do advise, you know what I mean, I, I would suggest that you butter your dish. This is a new dish right here. I have never cooked in this dish. It's, it's brand spanking new. Set that aside. We'll go wait on that toast there. But now while we wait on that toast, let's make us a batter. We might as well just work with that type of measuring cup right there. I think that's a full cup right there. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a little tight, but I think we can work with it. I don't know what it's going to be If I'm going to put it in that bowl. Bread pudding, that's what we're talking about. We're going to put some of that nutmeg in this one. Uh, well, you got to do it, so, so just go ahead and put them two eggs in there. That cream of wheat, y'all watch this. Y'all, y'all, y'all see that? Y'all, y'all see a handful of cream of wheat right there? Just pour it in there like that. Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be good. Don't forget that toast.
and uh, about half a cup of sugar, which uh, that's a pretty good handful. So you you don't want to. I mean, I'm gonna cut back on the sugar a little bit. Or should I or shouldn't I? I'm gonna put just a, okay. That's a good good big old spoonful, you know. salt. If I had some salt, I'd put some salt in there, but I don't have it. Just, I don't have it. So, you know, what are you going to do? Leave it out. I put that butter in yonder. We got that in there. Vanilla here. A couple of spoonfuls. Man, that butter's got expensive too. But I'll have to get some. I like a little butter in there. But this vanilla, just you know, pour you in a that was about two uh that was a pretty good lot of vanilla, but I like that. It's that imitation stuff, you know what I mean? It's not very strong, it's uh you know what I mean? It'll get you by in a pinch. You know, it was a cheap. That's a, it, that's what sold me on it was the price. And this right here is nutmeg. See, see how much I got right there. Just I put my finger in there, and I got a little dusting on there. Twice. That's all I'm gonna put in there. That's all. Don't you can overdo that nutmeg right there. I'm telling you, you can do it. Leave it out. Put cinnamon in if you want to. Oh, that that toast. started doing videos. You know what I mean? Running off at the mouth and, and, and uh, a couple times I got above the learning. You know what I mean? But I learned what I was doing so you know but by, by that time I was even. But see I was running off at the mouth not pay attention and I'll show you something. Okay, what happened? I, I was I was running off at the mouth. Y'all was a witness to it. If we called into court. All of you would be my witness to it. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and this is what I ended up with. And I and I'll tell you what, the toast on this side over here, and, and it, it's a good indication about that oven. It's hotter on the back side a considerable amount. And it may be that I'm not shoving that tray up in there fur enough. I mean, I think I did turn this around about 15 minute mark. But what I'm going to do, even, even to the point in a bread pudding, you can actually, uh, and I am going to turn it over because it'll stick to the pan if you let it dry. But never fear, never fear. I'll show you, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. That's hot too. We'll go over to the sink and, and do a little scraping. Actually, this is a little better than 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 uh, I expected. That's uh, that's much better than I expected. Uh, but all I'm going to do, and all I did is took the knife and scraped away the the charred part. You know, being honest about it, just I just scraped it away, and uh, I think it's just personal now. Occasionally, I do let my toast. I cut that oven off over there. It's not on anymore. I do let my toast go a little more on the darker side because I have found out, and I'm just confirming what you what you already know that it does add a slight nuttiest, nuttier flavor to the bread pudding. I like that. It's a it's a good taste. So, but that's three slices. 
Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one more, and then I'm gonna whoop that batter up right there, and uh, see see how much it is. See what the volume is, and then I can adjust this bread amount to the amount of custard mix that we have. Turn them over so they don't stick. I think we might be able to get both of them in there. Just get this back over and set that aside. Now what I got right here setting off her to the side, you may have wondered, I'm sure. That's one cup, one can, that's one of them big cans of evaporated milk. That's a big can. I'm gonna put that right in there. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put half and half with water. Okay. You, you, you see, most of the time I cook without no measuring anything. Well, you've got to measure right here. All I'm going to do is fill this glass back up to that level right there with water, and I know I'll have a 50 50 mix. Cooking is rocket science. Something about the altitude. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something about the altitude. And you know, for this right here, just, just whisk it really, 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 really good. I mean, you, you, can, you, you can dig out the hand pattern. Oh, it's going to be good. You know, when you're doing this right here, and it all comes together right there, you get that little uh, vanilla aroma, the, the whiff, the whiff of, aroma, of vanilla aroma meditates the room. You know what I mean? At that point... Oh, you know it's gonna be good. That's the nail I'm talking about. And that's enough right there. Any, any more, any more whisking past this right here is just too much. But you know, let's put them raisins in there. Actually. You can leave these raisins out entirely if you want to. If you are trying to save a few pennies on, on your raisin cost, then uh, just, just leave them out totally if you want to, or only put in half the amount. That's good to go. You know, you can put a bunch of more stuff in this right here if you want to, but it really ain't necessary. Okay, you see about how much batter I got? Okay, now wh what I have to do, wh what I have to do is to imagine, I want to use all of this. I have to imagine, uh, is this enough batter to cover up that amount of bread? And I think I can use more bread. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show something to you. What I'm going to do is put the batter in there. Then if I feel like I can work in another piece of bread, I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna pour myself in there. It's uh, like I say, I've never used this dish before. Oh yeah. Okay, now now these raisins, I, I, I really, well they slide now they're pretty good. So I, I, want, I want some, okay, come right out of there. Now I'm gonna bake this in a water bath means that bread pan is going to go in that oven and I'm going to fill it up with water. See, I need more bread in this. I can tell it right now. So, uh, and, and we have enough room in the, uh, and this right here, you know what I mean. There's some kind of debate about using Day old bread, you know, a month old bread, stale bread. This right here is the freshest bread. Oh, it's really good. Well, how many slices was that? We put them all in there. Two boxes of raisins. The only thing that we did different on this right here, take note, uh, pencil it in over there, that the only thing that we have done differently it's a different, different side, a different kind of dish. It's tall and skinny, and that other one, oh yeah, see that's more, that's more, it's not as soupy 
as it was a little bit ago. I mean, this is ready to throw in that oven. You don't have to let this sit there and soak up and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Don't, no need to preheat the oven. I mean, it is a little warm from that toast. But I'm just going to water bath that about 350, just a little bit on the hot side. For I, I think it'll take a nair. Uh, and somewhere along the line, I'll look at it. If it's getting too brown on the top, I'll put a little piece of foil on there. A little tip right there you may be interested in. That hot water in that pan, just shove it back up in that oven there and let it cool down. Deal with it later. Looked at this pie. That's just the way it came from the oven, right there. And you know, if you go and buy the textbook, it'll tell you that certain way that you find. Let's look at it. I've not looked at this. Oh, I wish y'all. Can y'all smell that? It's cool, be good. But you know, they say you can put a skewer right down in there like that, and if it comes out clean and nothing stuck to it, oh, that's cool, be good. I wish y'all could smell that. You're supposed to kind of let this cool down a little bit. But you know, I think probably should serve it up. I mean, you're going to be thinking, let me add in here about right now. This ain't the first bread pudding I've ever baked. Now remember, th this is hot from the oven. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be good. Now, you know what? You're going to be kind of thinking, well, I probably should put some sauce on there. You know what I mean? Some sauce. Okay, now that's about a correct... No, no sauce needed. That, that, that's about a correct amount for a serving. A dollop of uh, ice cream on there would be permissible. Really don't need anything. Enjoy. You know, that's pretty good. Yes, I was right. This is good. <laughs>